hi welcome to my channel my name is Angela and I'm back again with part two on how to have a healthy relationship but before we get started I want to read my disclaimers if you are in immediate danger please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE 800-799-7233 or for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI, 800-950-6264, or you can text NAMI at 741741. Again, please remember to like my videos, subscribe, and share them. So we stopped off at number six yesterday, so I'm going to start with number seven. It's important to have space and boundaries so what I mean about that is um, I know in a relationship you want to spend every moment with this person uh, especially when it's new but it's okay sometimes to uh, just have your own space you know do some of the things you like to do if you like to go and shop with your friends or go have girl times with your girlfriends or whatever the case may be go spend time with your family um, do that. You don't always have to be stuck under this person. You know, have boundaries. Don't let this person make you feel a certain way because you're not always trying to be stuck under them. You know, if you start to um, see that trait coming in to where this person is trying to make you feel guilty because you don't want to spend certain days with them, um, then that's something you want to watch. Uh, but it's okay to have space and it's okay to not spend every moment with your partner. You know, setting boundaries by making sure that you um, put yourself first, you know. Um, even though you're in a relationship, you shouldn't lose your identity. So keep true to who you are because if you're in a healthy relationship, this person will love you and respect you for that. And... Um, Number eight, conflict kindness. You know, you don't always have to agree with each other, but you can show kindness in your disagreement. When you when you disagree with someone, with somebody, I'm sorry, don't make the person feel little. Um, you don't have to get your point across by tearing the other person down. So whatever you disagree about, show kindness in your disagreement. And then also number nine, have a balance in the relationship. So if you are in a committed relationship and you all decide to live together, or whatever the case may be, uh, make sure that um, there's a balance there. You're not always being the person to uh, take care of the home or, you know, always being the person to make to make sure that this person is okay without you getting it in return. Everything that you do in this relationship should have a balance. That's the key to a healthy relationship is balance. And now that you've been in this relationship, number 10, you know, things can become uh, stagnant. It can become a routine. But it's your duty to make sure that you try to break out of the monotony and have um, a healthy relationship by not doing the same things you know you have to put work into it because if you get comfortable with the routine then the relationship can just uh, take a back seat you know don't expect certain things from people uh, I'm sorry from your partner but make sure that you're giving as much as you're getting so put into the relationship you know I know at the first beginning of the relationship you're um, the man is about showing everything he can to make this his um, girl happy. You know, they're taking trips or whatever the case may be. Um, so I'm looking at it as a woman. You know, you don't always have to spend money. It's just a little small kind acts that you do. You know, make this person feel special. Make this person feel that you want them in your life. You know, um, and number 11, protect one another. Don't um, allow anyone to talk bad about your person or your partner. Don't um, you talk bad about your person or partner to anyone else. Even if you're having a disagreement, keep it within the house, like I said earlier. Um, 
So protect the relationship. Protect uh, the person that you're in the relationship with. And number 12, uh, emotional bonding. That's important. You know, so the relationship doesn't always have to be a uh, glitz and glamour. Sometimes it's good just to sit there and laugh with your partner. Uh, take time to talk about things that you've experienced in your life. Um, you know, be silly together. You know, um, whether you're laying in the bed just talking about things like you did when you were in the when you were trying to start the relationship most people talk on the phone for hours um keep that going that emotion emotional bonding is very important if you never let that go things will start to work you know and also understand that in a relationship no one is perfect so if a person makes a mistake um learn to forgive that person don't just hold on to it don't hold it over their head learn to forgive them and you all work together to make things better and the most important thing keep god in your relationship let him be the head and as long as he's the head and you don't let anyone else come into the relationship things will work out i hope this is helping someone and i hope that you all are enjoying my videos please remember to like subscribe and share and happy thanksgiving i'm thankful for um, being able to come on here and share some of my experience uh, with you all so again happy thanksgiving and i'll see you again later